I'm sorry, Mrs. Williamson, but there's nothing I can do here. Shane broke the law and laws must be upheld. We have a justice system to make sure that we know this. Shane will be looking at a couple of years in incarceration in a detention facility for juvenile offenders. We've had the most success with one right here in state called Horizon's Edge. But it was just a playground fight. The law is clear and my hands are tied. I have to impose the sentence that is required. I granted you this meeting as a courtesy. How can you send me to jail for a fight? It happens every day at that school. I didn't mean to cause any problems. Jamie got a black eye and that's it, it will heal. I just, I don't want my life ruined over one stupid black eye. Well, I suppose you're unlucky enough to get caught. This is insane. How can this be justice? Shane is just a child. No, her father and I didn't always have a lot. But, you know, things were starting to get better. When Ralph's parents died last year, they left us a little inheritance. And his business has been doing really good. But now this. I'm begging you. Is there any way that you can reverse your decision? $200,000. What? I just need $200,000 to let Shane off the hook. It would all go through a charitable foundation and never be traced back to this. I figure you didn't have the money, but from what it sounds like, your ship might have just come in. And maybe we can both make sure that we take care of Shane. So a bribe? Well, a donation. That's how these things work. It could even be a tax write-off for you. We can do that. Mom, please, we have to figure this out. Can't we just give him the money? I promise I will never do this again. Just please pay her. I can't go to jail. There might be a different way out of this. Just hang on a second, Jane. Detective Collins, did you get all that? Judge Harper. Yes. Can't you see I'm in a meeting right now? I can, actually. We've been listening in through the microphone. Thank you kindly, Mrs. Williamson. Excuse me? In fact, we've been listening for quite some time. We know all about the teenagers you've sent to prison for kickbacks from the companies that run them offering wealthier families the chance to pay you through your foundation. We know it all, Judge. And thanks to this family, we now have you on tape. You can thank your previous victim. I doubt you remember her. Miss Cassidy Taylor. Judge Harper? Yes. I sentenced her to jail for committing a crime. I don't see how that could be disputed. No, you sold me to a prison for a minor infraction. I was just a normal kid, going to school, hanging with friends. One of them dared me to shoplift a $10 shirt, and I did. It was just a dare. I was going to give it back. But then my whole life changed. I got caught, and you locked me up for two years. How does $10 equal two years? Then, all the time with my family, I'll never get back. Well, I hope you learned your lesson. You wanna know what I've learned? I've learned that you can never trust adults, especially those in power. And I've also learned that your brother-in-law is on the board of Horizon Edge, and he's been giving you kickbacks for each kid you have locked up there. And now I'm learning that justice is possible if you speak up. And she also just tried to solicit a bribe from us. Oh, come <laughs> on, Mrs. Williamson. Tell them that's not what I meant. Well, well, the law is clear, Judge. My hands are tied. Judge Harper, I'm gonna have to ask you to come with me. You know we expect more from our legal system. And from what I've seen, you've been running a mockery of what we've sworn to uphold.
Because of your own greed, Judge, our city is weakened and the systems that hold it together. I hope you rot in jail longer than all those innocent children you put away there. Mom, you were in on this the whole time? How could you make me think that I was going to jail? Consider it a fitting punishment for the fight. 